Upgrading the Traditional City. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 430. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together the people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to create sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our June 20th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is a fun one upgrading the traditional city. And you know, you can see our version of what that looks like in the background of this video right now. Like these are the seven different sustainable villages and the city center that we have designed and we're open sourcing and free sharing and we'll build and continue to open source and reshare and free share until all seven villages are completed in the city center as open source opportunities or options for people to be able to create and build anywhere in the world. <clears throat> Upgrading the traditional city for us, though, is much, much deeper than that. You know, we're taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and truer stewardship. And we're putting those together as a city model that we think will provide a much better living experience than the way that most people are living right now. And so our idea is to build mini cities comprised of villages all working together to create what in one community's case will be a population of eventually growing to 2,000 permanent residents and hosting hundreds of thousands of residents annually as well to demonstrate what is possible with one community. And this model could be scaled even larger than that, but that is our goal as an organization that's open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions to replicate everything that we're doing. You know, the city center is meant to be able to be a DIY build-it-yourself project that 50 people could get together and construct without heavy, heavy machinery. And all of the villages are meant to be DIY projects like that. So our idea for upgrading the traditional city is A, to, to demonstrate that cities can be do-it-yourself projects. And for people to think, oh, yeah, that's not possible. It's like, wait a minute. Like, if you got all the people together that are building city infrastructure right now, they know, that have the know-how to do that. I mean, technically, you could argue that they're all do-it-yourself projects. It's just you're paying different people to be able to do that. So we want to simplify that process and show that through sustainable construction, it can be a true, it, like, it just takes a lot less knowledge and understanding to be able to replicate that and we're bringing together the professionals the engineers the architects to be able to teach how to build these base foundation models and then we're going to open source and we are open sourcing and free sharing all those engineering details all those architectural details and then we will continue this process for the installation details excavation details all the construction specifics and all of that to show exactly how we build everything that it is that we're building and so doing, we want to empower people to be able to construct those basic foundations, and we want to upgrade the traditional city by providing that foundational set of blueprints so that the architects, the engineers, the really skilled individuals that can make those even more amazing can do just that. And for the people that just want to pay for something like this, they'll be able to take those base plans and say, look, we've got the basics. Now you're an expert, you're a professional, make it even more amazing. Instead of paying all that money to build the basics and design the basics, they can take their available funds and resources and say, hey, I want to do something more artistic. I want to do something more magnificent, more beautiful, more amazing. And so I'm going to put my resources into that because I have this basic foundation to start with. And for those people that are looking to come together like we are and build a community themselves, that's what we're really providing. That's the tools, the tutorials, the resources, do-yourself instructions that we're designing is especially for those folks. And so that they can take these their resources and apply them around the world to bring this technology and this knowledge and this information to where it's needed most. Because restrictions on building will be less. You know, more beautiful land will be available, you know, for a more affordable price. And we can help people around the world creating teacher demonstration hubs that teach other people how to upgrade the traditional city as well. And again, like I said in the beginning, upgrading the traditional city isn't just about infrastructure. 
you know, that's one big part of it is, hey, let's upgrade the traditional city so that we're building homes that aren't built with toxic materials. So that we're building homes that have a very small ecological eco footprint and that are are sustainably built and built to last a lot longer than traditional traditional buildings, but not filled with toxic stuff. But let's also upgrade the traditional city so that it includes, you know, community-based education programs so that parents that want to be involved in the education process can be involved in that process inside the classroom. Well, let's build, let's upgrade the traditional city so that it grows and produces its own food so that your food is locally produced so that it's fresher, so that it's healthier, you know, so it's more nutritious. You know, let's, so it's not sprayed with three different types of poisons, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. You know, let's let's upgrade the traditional city so that our waste isn't just pumped out into the ocean or dumped into rivers, you know, so that it can be treated on site and that so that it can be recycled and used as fertilizer locally. You know, let's upgrade the traditional city so that all of our recycling isn't being shipped to other countries, you know, or just put into landfills, but so that it's all handled on the property so that all plastic is being handled on the property and utilized and converted and re repurposed and used for other things. You know, so the clothing and textiles and things. And we've already created tutorials for all of this explaining exactly how we're going to do that. So just as some of the examples of how we're upgrading the traditional city, and all of this is built on our open source plans, the tools, the tutorials, the resources, do yourself instructions, teaching people how to do that so that for people that aren't interested in building a complete city, they can just take any one of our modular components and apply that. You know, and so our all volunteer team at this point, over 500 volunteers contributing, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of hours to the design process. This is what we're creating. You know, we're an all volunteer team, we're a nonprofit organization, we're a non governmental organization, and we are a group of people that see a sustainable world within our lifetime as possible through a model that's self replicating. And we're creating that self replicating model by demonstrating it as easy enough, affordable enough and attractive enough, the living experience as enough of an upgrade from the way that most people are living right now to inspire people to want to create this for themselves so that it will spread on its own around the world, creating more and more options, more and more diversity, more and more ideas for how to upgrade the traditional city and start taking you know, this idea global and inviting people all over the world to participate and make it even better. And so, this is what one community is doing. This is our idea for global transformation, creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And everybody that's interested is open to participate. And as we develop more and more, there'll be more and more options to do that. So if you'd like to participate, check out our helping page. If you'd like to see the specifics of everything that our team has created in the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog. And if you want to see this week specifically, blog number 430. And if you would like to uh, learn more about our project, see the open source plans, tools, tutorials, resources, do it yourself instructions, everything that we're creating, visit our website and dig in there. There are hundreds of pages of amazing work and information that all of our volunteers and our team has worked together to put. And uh, as we move closer and closer to this idea of actually starting to construct one community, creating a place that people can come and visit, experience, be a part of, and see all this stuff. And everywhere that they look, every single thing that they look at, right down to the research that determined what the most sustainable toilet is or faucet or hand dryer or shower head, because we've researched all of those, what the most sustainable flooring is and what research went into that, how we made those decisions, everything open source and free shared so that people can access that information, you know, determine whether or not they agree with it, but at least use that to make their own decisions and replicate whatever aspect of what it is that we are creating for themselves, for yourselves. So this is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. And uh, stick around for a couple more minutes if you like bullet points on uh, all the major components of our project. And with that said, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. 
one community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to High's Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.